We bring you news from the Shadowlands. And what news do we bring you today? Well, apparently World of Warcraft will go the awful route of cross-faction. So, let's get into the details of what this means. From what the devs say, this is gonna be done for group content. Random content like dungeons and PvP and whatever will be excluded from it because something about pressure upon it, whatever. But uh, group content in which you can invite people and you make your own, you know, LFG, looking for group, that's when you can do it. You can invite Horde players as an Alliance player to your raid. Alpha, I know. Eh, I guess people will forget about Teldrassil and Terra more about the Undercity too, when you think about it. Eh, who knows. Other news regarding this is that some raids slash dungeons will be eh, it will take some time until they will be put through cross faction that includes the battle for Dazalor, Ice from Citadel because you remember there's that uh, battleship section and yeah you know they're gonna have to redo that one um, the Argent tournament if I remember correctly yeah because you fight the champions of the opposing team which is awesome but of course they're gonna screw that up with this and what else Oh yes, they we talk about how they will make this an opt-in situation. But unfortunately, with so many spineless cowards leaving the Alliance for the Horde, at some point, Alliance players will just be forced to opt-in for the cross-faction, even if they want to or not. Luckily, guilds will remain for one faction only. And that's good, though people are complaining that making guilds one faction only is bad. To be honest, you already got your cross-faction playing, you race traitors, what do you want more than that? Now, it wouldn't really be a complete video if I didn't give my less than worthy opinion upon it. And what do I think? It's terrible. It's a bad idea. <laughs> the players created this problem because they couldn't just stick with one faction, with the faction they liked, and decided to go Horde or the other faction, let's just say the other faction in this case. Um, because crowd pressure, I guess, the fact that, oh no, the Horde has more players, let's uh, go there, and then I stay here, because what's gonna happen if I leave, my friends leave, their friends leave, everybody leaves? Oh no, it's not our fault, it's Blizzard's fault, Blizzard's to blame, even though the ratios for the uh, Alliance races are kinda good, and I think some of them are even better than the Horde ones. No, no, th th this is Blizzard's fault, not our fault. No, we didn't do anything. Sure you didn't, buddy. And do you want me to believe that? I mean, it's kind of stupid when you think about it. You create a problem and then you expect Blizzard to come and save it for you. Oh, save, the, save, us, save us, save us from our own bad decisions. Nah, I don't think it's worth it. And I honestly think cross-faction is a bad idea in of itself. It really destroys a good bunch of lore. Eh, well, whatever lore there's left after Shadowlands, that is. But it really destroys one of the things that made Warcraft unique, and that was its factions. From War Warcraft uh, Orcs and Humans, to Warcraft 2, to Warcraft 3, because even though all the races fight together and they're still different, you play the Frozen Throne and you see there's still a lot of animosity and there's still a lot of stuff going on down there. So, you know, it would make sense to keep the factions and mingle as little as possible. And only when the situation asks for it. But no. Nah, what's the point, I guess. Why keep that? I've said before that the current... Let's call them... Not writers, that would be an insult to writers. Um, scribblers. Quigglers, whatever. Uh, let's say the current squigglers have seem to be having a fantasy of, pish, of pissing as a pisha on what uh, is made Warcraft great once. And that's easy to see from the whole Sylvanas debacle in the Shadowlands, where they try to create this black sheep that to blame, who can't really say anything because more than likely has an NDA on this stuff, to excuse themselves and their fanfic? Nah, I, I think that there's fanfic better than this. I'm not even sure what to call it. Napkin writing? But eh. Even napkin writing can have good ideas. A lot of poets in Romania used to do that. When they were drunk, of course. But I don't really trust the squibblers at uh, Blizzard. 
even when they're sober, let alone drunk. Who knows what to do if they're drunk. Anyway, going back to the main topic of this. Yeah, it's bad. It just destroys everything that made it made Warcraft what it is. And yeah, sure, it can be like, oh, you're over-exaggerating. It has opt-in function. And what are you going to do when there's basically nobody that uh, wants to do that? Everybody wants to opt in to play with their friends that decided to play Horde or whatever. And you're just left like, yeah, you know what? I still remember Teldrassil. I still remember Terramore. And you know what? I still remember the four, the first war, the second war. Mm, not really that willing to play with, you know, traitors like the Blood Elves. Abominations like the Forsaken. Greedy bastards like the Goblins. Or even the, you know, bloodthirsty orcs. Eh, you know what, I would rather not do that. But the rest of your kin does. Now what? <clears throat> well, I guess you have to form like-minded alliances and guilds. I don't have high hopes that uh, there won't be claims of racism for this. Because people are stupid. And I've seen that when it comes to World of Warcraft a lot. People are stupid. And if those guilds disband because of those claims and players are banned because of them, well, you're gonna be forced to opt in. In the end, everybody's gonna be forced to opt in, you know? That's just the way how things will roll from now on. The guy that kind of that camped you in a Stranglethorn Vale? Yeah? I hope you're gonna have fun doing Theater of Pain plus 10 with him. That's gonna be nice, right? Yeah, well, that's about it. I should've lost hope for World of Warcraft a long time ago. But there was still something in me that, you know, kept on to the tradition, to the things that I like, to the lore. Basically what made me a fan of Blizzard and the Warcraft universe. But as I have uh, good luck in um, getting into things that just become eroded at some point, I can't, uh, I can't have anything good, can I? Now, there's retcons, there's stupid books, there's... People that complain about stuff and somehow get their way with it. Ah oh, well, whatever. What can you do, huh? Hope it gets better, but it doesn't. It won't. I don't think it will ever get better. Ah oh, well, what can you do? I just hope that we start another faction war. Um, we're not gonna let uh, this opt-in function will be less used. Though I doubt we're gonna have another faction war. Why would we have another one? Now that the orcs player, orc players can uh, fight alongside us, huh? That sounds nice. Think about the trolls. I mean, nobody thinks about the trolls. They're kind of irrelevant, anyway. Except Vol'jin, but whatever. Yeah, so, I hope you guys will have fun playing with the cross-faction with the peers. They started testing it out, so, you know, if you're into that, you can just hop in when they make it possible. And we'll see what we do. The Scarlet Brotherhood will keep marching on we'll still do our thing keep it as exclusive and as warmongery as possible and just hope for a better future with the crimson dawn